Wake up. You have time to be lying around in bed. It's the same thing every morning. I had too much to drink last night. And now I'm feeling the effects. Wouldn't mind one more though. Gotta keep an eye on the watch. I've got somewhere to be. Take one look in the mirror. It's time to get ready. See, I've gotta head down to the station. Chief's got a case for me. Apparently a girl's gone missing and the police don't have time for her. So I guess it's up to me to do their job. My hat. Garden, the only two things I need in this world. The only two things I really have in this world. I take my gun, just in case. And enough cash to get me across town. Best played safe. Don't need the attention of a man with a gun on show. The music stops. I enter the room. Hello, John. I'm glad you came in. Police Chief Simon Adams. I used to work with the guy back in the day. Until his morals changed and all he cared about was getting behind that desk with that fat salary of his. That's not my name anymore. My name's Jack. Just because you've forgotten the old days doesn't mean I have to. The old days. I don't care to remember. There's a reason I don't live the old days. To remember what you did. He always believed what he did was just. To let a killer get away. And I'll forgive him. I only did what I had to do, John. He sounds sincere, but I don't believe him. And I am sorry. Tell it to someone who gives a damn, Adams. Let's just get on with it. Fine. Let's get on to the case. He picks up a photo and hands it to me. It's a picture of a girl. The missing girl. Looks like a cute kid. Tells me a name. Catherine Wheeler. Apparently there are no clues on this. Someone wanted her. And nobody knows why. And then he tells me the worst part. She's only 15. God damn it. Who'd want to take a 15 year old girl? What could the reasoning be? And then I suddenly notice Adams has stopped talking. I speak up. Anything else? Sorry, I can't help you on this, John. Your cops would only slow me down. John, I don't want any bloodshed. There's a reason I carry this. A sea full of bloodshed. I really think it would make any difference. Finally shuts up. I'll do what I have to do to find this girl. Jack. You go. Don't worry. I'll find you, Catherine. Jack Miller. I know that voice. Danny Netzel. Heard you were looking for me, Jack. Danny Netzel. They call him Danny the Know-It-All. Thinks of himself as a hotshot reporter. And though that may be the case most of the time, and the information he brings me is good. He's also known for getting himself in trouble. Let's just say he's had his fair share of near-death experiences. So Jackie, we gonna talk business? Not before another puff. I hear you've been looking for me. I have. He lets me speak. I'm looking for a missing girl. This one's different. She's young. Not like all the others. Still, he's quiet. Catherine Wheeler, that's her name. You got anything? Catherine Wheeler, eh? I have heard the name. Don't give me what I need. I'm sorry, I don't have much information on this one. Then what good are you to me? I've got no use for you. I may not know much on this one. But I think I know who might help you. I think I might know just the girl. Works in a bar downtown. Now give me a name, Netzel. Tash. And for good reason. Finally, he gives me what I need. Tells me this girl works at a bar downtown. There's a guy who likes to snatch up people. Especially kids. And he gives me one last piece of advice. Watch yourself, Jack. Don't get yourself killed now.
Good work, Nettle. I'll see you later, Jackie. I'm heading to town. I'm looking for a bar and a girl with the information I need. When suddenly I see it, now I look smart. I take off my coat. The guy in the door gives me one look, like he doesn't like the way my guns are on show. Asks me to hand them over. I do as he asks. Hopefully I won't need him. Is this the girl? Tash? That's what they call me, darling. For good reason. What can I do you get for? A friend told me to come and see you. Why don't we find somewhere nice and quiet? I'm not here for that. Well, what else could you want from me? Tell me about Catherine Wheeler. I don't know anything about her. I know you know something. About who took her? Why? I don't know what you're talking about. I'm talking about a young girl's life here. Okay, fine, I'll talk. Now tell me what you know. She sings, tells me everything. About a friend of hers. Likes to take kids. Saw him recently, bringing one back. About 15, she says. This is my guy. Suddenly I look at the bar and the drink is calling to me. I have to stay focused. That's everything. You sure? So how about some fun before you go? Maybe next time, doll. Maybe next time. Goodbye, Detective Miller. I'll find you, Catherine. And now I'm close. I'm close. I feel it. This is the place. So this is where you live. I'm coming, Catherine. Extended mag. Never know when you're gonna need a few extra rounds. Stay quiet. He hasn't heard me yet. The pretty little girl with a beautiful smile, a long blonde hair. I see Detective Miller has finally arrived. Don't make me put a bullet in you. Come on. Nice and easy now. Well, what could you possibly want for me, Detective? You know exactly why I'm here. There's a girl. Why'd you take her? The pretty little girl with the beautiful smile and the long blonde hair. Tell me where she is! You know, two police officers came here today. They were asking so many questions. I've seen a lot of psychopaths like you in my day. Just let me tell you. I wouldn't lose any sleep on you. So the big bad detective with the drinking problem comes in here yeah, and wants to know all the answers. Are you really sure? Do you want to know what I did? No. I killed her. That's right, I killed her. I killed her. Pretty little girl with a beautiful smile and the long blonde. No! So arrest me. No! Arrest me. Arrest me! No. Arrest me! Arrest me!
I don't know who this guy is, but I'm gonna make his life hell. 